The Cambridge Health Alliance teamed up with the Consulate General of Brazil in Boston to hold a panel discussion about the Zika virus Tuesday night at their Malden Center. Zika, although not a threat to the U.S. at the moment, is causing great concern in countries around the world. The meeting was directed at the Brazilian community, but was open to anyone with questions and or plans to travel to countries with outbreaks. We should not uh, generate an alarmist situation, but of course it's important that people know what's going on and what is being done to, let's say, remedy the situation and to lower the number of cases and to take precautionary measures. The Zika virus is a mosquito-borne virus and has been looked at as related to the dengue and West Nile viruses and as well to yellow fever. Zika is just the latest evolving infection in the Americas. It is a virus. It's transmitted primarily by the bite of the Aedes mosquito. There's one particular breed of the Aedes mosquito that has evolved and it's become very efficient at living indoors and around dwellings. Experts are also looking at other means by which the Zika virus is spread, including sexual transmission, transmission by blood, and possibly through tissues and organs. It is better if someone's in a situation where they might contract Zika that they should use a condom or not have sexual relations during pregnancy. Only one in four people who are infected actually develop symptoms for the Zika virus, and even the symptoms tend to vary between common and rare ones. The symptoms that are kind of the most famous would be things like a rash, um, you know, some, a little bit of abdominal pain, some diarrhea, but it's really kind of non-specific. The kind of thing where you just might feel kind of chronic. Uh, it's something we call malaise. Concerns about the Zika virus are only directed at women who are pregnant or will become pregnant when in contact with the virus. Zika has been linked to microcephaly, which causes babies to be born with small heads. Certified nurse midwife Mary Lou Carr addressed new information about testing for Zika. There's sort of evolving protocols from the CDC. And, you know, initially it was just testing women who had symptoms of the Zika virus coming from an area where there was um, high transmission, um, for example, Brazil. Um, now the, the CDC has recommend, you know, has recommended that all women get offered this testing if they came from and they were exposed during their pregnancy to, um, to this, or potentially exposed to the Zika virus by living in an area of high, um, uh, you know, of high transmission. There are no travel restrictions at the moment to any of the countries exposed. Officials are taking measures to prevent the virus in any way they can. Around 220,000 armed forces personnel from the Army, the Navy, and the Air Force have joined 300,000 public agents and volunteers all over Brazil to combat the breeding grounds in every house in Brazil. The panelists also advise people who plan on traveling to take precautions like having mosquito repellents on them and wearing long sleeves and pants in Zika-exposed areas. I'm Paola Tristanaruda for Arlington Public News.